I'm Deborah Borchart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, True Leaf found itself the target of a short seller attack. Grizzly Research called the company a fraud. The report accused True Leaf's CEO, Kim Rivers' husband, of having questionable business practices and suggested the company's profits weren't what they seemed. The stock did seem to recover as analysts defended the company. Akerna is buying Ample Organics in a cash and stock deal valued at $45 million. Fire and Flower announced its third quarter revenue increased 443% to $13.7 million. The company also delivered a net income of $10.2 million over last year's net loss of $22.5 million. Hexo reported its net revenue for the first quarter decreased sequentially to $14.5 million from $15.4 million. The net loss for the quarter was an eye-popping $62.4 million. Val & Growworks gave revenue guidance for the fourth quarter in the range of $27 million to $30 million. FSD Pharma announced that the NASDAQ has approved its application to have its Class B subordinate voting shares listed on the NASDAQ capital market. The Green Organic Dutchman announced that it closed its previously announced bought deal for $27.6 million. And Green Growth Brands said it was not going to acquire Moxie and blame the market's changing macro environment. New Jersey lawmakers are going to make the voters decide about adult use cannabis in 2020. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.